Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stu Clark and today we're going to talk about Lightroom Classic and XMP sidecar files. Uh, early on in my quest to speed up Lightroom, I made the mistake of taking advice from a wedding photographer. Uh, event photographers generally have a short working span with their images before they're archived. But as a wildlife photographer, my images go into a working catalog that so far spans the last 20 years. Uh, Lightroom Classic is an essential part of my image workflow and it allows me to access any image with a single click. Um, the advice I took regarding not writing the metadata to the XMP was based on speeding up the workflow on a single shoot uh, with no need for long-term access to those images. Uh, so we'll take a look into what the XMP files are to hopefully prevent you from making the same mistake I did. So let's get into Lightroom and we'll go over uh, to make sure that you have these boxes checked and you have it set up correctly. Okay, so first off, we're going to get Lightroom Classic open here. Uh, we are talking about Lightroom Classic, not uh, Lightroom for mobile or just or the Lightroom uh, desktop application, Lightroom Classic. Okay, so many, many of you might not realize, but Lightroom Classic is designed where it um, to work on raw files and it's meant as a catalog, but it's also non-destructive editing, which means that any of the edits you do within the software are stored within the software. And this is where um, the number one thing we're gonna look at to make sure you have checked is that you write the data to the XMP file. And this is the root of the problem that we're gonna discuss today. So with Lightroom, it's basically a non-destructive editor. What that means is you can do all sorts of adjustments to the images, you can adjust the exposure, any of the changes you do, are not actually applied to your raw file. They're only applied within the catalog. And this is where I ran into some issues early on. So at the beginning, Lightroom, still to some extent, but it's gotten much, much better in recent years. But Lightroom is a slow program. In doing my research, and like I said, when I was starting out, I came across a great uh, website was talking about how to speed up Lightroom. And one of the things they said to do was to, if you click on edit, go to catalog settings, click on metadata, and it's, they said to uncheck this box automatically writes changes into XMP. Um, basically means that it's not going to write changes into what's called an XMP. It's called a sidecar file. Uh, if you have a look at Windows Explorer here, and you'll notice every image has got what's called an XMP file beside it. Um, at the time, I wasn't really understanding what that meant. I was thinking it was keywords, and uh, I said this was right at my, the beginning of using Lightroom. So I didn't, I, you know, okay, hey, if this is going to speed Lightroom up, great, let's try it. What a huge mistake. Um, and people that are event photographers, once they've done using the images, once the event is over, They'll be, you know, they'll sell images for maybe a, a few weeks after, possibly a month, and then everything basically gets archived and it gets put away for storage. With wildlife photography, I want to be able to access my photos basically forever. I want, you know, I can go through, I can, I can call, I can edit, I can make changes, um, any request for an image. I'd only, I want to find it all within the one catalog. So if you uncheck this box, all of your changes that you make here are only stored within the Lightroom catalog. It actually doesn't write these XMP files. What's really, really important is this XMP file is now connected to this image. Without the XMP file, this is basically the raw shot from the camera. None of my Lightroom adjustments have been made to it. None of my keywords have been added to it. It's just, it's just like the day I shot it. So where this came in for me, I ended up, I had this unchecked. I had probably a hundred thousand photos in my catalog. Uh, and we're going to get to the next thing to make sure you check as well. Um, basically, so when Lightroom, when you go to close down Lightroom, you'll see this box come up that says do a backup. Lightroom by default does the backup to the same hard drive as where Lightroom stores its main catalog. So silly me, hadn't changed the drive. Again, what you know, I figured, okay, I've got a backup of it. No worries. The drive failed. So what happened was not only did I lose the catalog, I lost 
the backup catalog, but because I didn't have these XMP files written to the raw file, so they didn't have a connection, basically I ended up having to start all over. Having that XMP, so under edit, catalog settings, metadata, you want to make sure that this automatically write changes into XMP. Extremely important. Also, it says include develop settings and metadata inside JPEG, TIFF, PNG, and PSD files. Also very, very important. So basically what it's telling you is that all of the changes you make inside of Lightroom is going to be connected to every image on your hard drive. If for whatever reason your catalog got corrupted, um, something happened to your catalog drives, you can import all these photos into a blank Lightroom catalog and they effectively will show up in, they might not be perfect for the way you've got them laid out, but you will they will have information from the Lightroom catalog attached to every single photo. When I unchecked that box, like I said, I was looking for a little bit of speed. Lightroom was, um, Lightroom writing metadata, I guess the latest update will actually has improved um, keywording and, and writing to metadata. Uh, every update, it seems to get a little bit better. Um, you know, Modern computers have gotten a lot, lot better at handling Lightroom. You can actually move through images quickly. You can edit quickly. Uh, and we'll go through some of that in later uh, videos. But today, I just wanted to put together a quick video to make sure that you have this box checked. Um, it is really vital. Um, especially, as like I said, if you're an event photographer, maybe it's not as big an issue. Where with wildlife photography, you know, I, I have uh, my catalog as... 260,000 photos in it right now. Um, hundreds of species and obviously different shoots. Uh, not all of them are edited, obviously, but all of them will have been keyworded and sorted into their own into collections and into files uh, and folders in, within Lightroom itself. So that one checkbox can save you weeks and weeks of grief trying to get it back if you do happen to lose a, the catalog. Well, I hope that helps. That'll be just a, just a quick... Uh, Lightroom tutorial for today. Take care. Till next time.